614 Startups Nation, we have arrived. This is the post-event coverage of the 2019 Venture Dinner. My name is Elio Harmon, and I'm here with our Lieutenant Governor, John Husted. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing great. What a, what a great event this was. So much energy. This is the future of the Ohio economy right here in Columbus. All right, now I've got to be honest with you. I've interviewed some big names. All the stars are here, but I'm starstruck right now, okay? So I'm going to try to keep it together for this interview, even though we just have a couple, uh, couple minutes. A couple big announcements in there, including Innovate IP. Do I have that right? Well, it's the Ohio's IP promise. Okay. And literally, last year at this dinner, we had this idea that we talked about, uh, about helping make sure that every university in the state of Ohio made it simple and easy for the technology, the innovations on campus to become uh, commercialized and put into products and services. And, and really, we didn't have any idea whether or not we could get all of the universities to buy in. But, but one year later, we're on the verge of making a big announcement tomorrow where we will have all of our universities, all of our public universities, and our private universities, many of them, uh, all on the same page with creating a simple, uniform process for the commercialization of, of IP uh, on our college campuses for entrepreneurial and commercial ventures. We believe Ohio will be the first state in the nation to have this statewide uh, network put together, this statewide promise. Uh, and I know the, a lot of the entrepreneurs in there were very excited tonight because they say, hey, we've got cap capital, we've got ideas, now we're going to be able to move this off of campus, turn it into to products and businesses, and do it in a simple and easy manner. Uh, that's great news for Ohio, it's great news for these entrepreneurs. Uh, everybody benefits, we all win. Yeah, and uh, for the folks who weren't here, we were in the room and we heard the challenges. Can you share with us what what were the challenges that really spurred you to want to make this change? Well, entrepreneurs were complaining. They were saying, look, there's all this great stuff happening in our universities, but we can't pull that intellectual property off the campuses and turn it onto entrepreneurial ventures because it's too bureaucratic, it's too slow, uh, we can't get deals done. And, and so we sat them all in the room and we said, look, you guys got to work this out uh, because it's not it's in the university's interest, it's in the entrepreneur's interest, it's in, in, in the interest of the people of Ohio that you guys figure out uh, how to help one another. And to their credit, they did. And they put together the Ohio IP Promise. Uh, we're going to roll it out on Friday and we believe it's going to be precedent setting for the nation and a, a jump start for our uh, tech entrepreneurs in the state. Yeah, now negotiations are tough when you only have two sides of the negotiation. So there are a lot of different interests, right? So you had entrepreneurs' interests, you had investor interests, you had the university's interests, and, but you also raised something very important, which is the researchers' interests. I understand that one of the issues were, was that there wasn't transparency between the university and the researcher, and sometimes folks who should be sitting on the same side of the table were finding it difficult to negotiate when it came to IP. So how did you guys address this? With, with this uh, uh, innovation. Yeah, that's exactly right. Think about this. You're a professor at the university and you got this great idea and somebody says, let's commercialize it and then you have to go negotiate against your employer for the terms to be able to do that. Uh, it was just a deterrent and now it's going to be, it's going to be, there's a blueprint for it. It's just going to say, look, here's the deal. It's transparent. You know what you get. You, The university knows what it gets. The, the, the entrepreneur knows its terms and it's all right there in black and white. Simple, easy to understand. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just take the bureaucracy out of the process because uh, it's a cultural shift. Universities are not used to being entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs aren't used to dealing with bureaucracies. We brought them together and we eliminated it all. This is absolutely wonderful. And now I'm going to end with this. I'm going to step out there. You can always not answer this question, but what's in your political future? Oh, well, first of all, I have, I have a simple, simple solution to that. Uh -huh. uh, just do a good job with the job you have and everything else takes care of it. Uh, I love working with Governor DeWine. He's a great governor. I enjoy being lieutenant governor. And most of all, it's about what you do. It's helping create a vibrant, healthy economy in Ohio. I lead Innovate Ohio. We want to make Ohio the most entrepreneurial, uh, innovative state in the Midwest. And, you know, our announcement tomorrow is just step one. Well, here's how I feel. If we could lead in entrepreneurship, we could lead the country. We have a lot of talent here on the startup side and on the political side. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate the time. Thanks.